Like I told you on Sundays, challenges are part of life. So when challenges come, does it mean that God has left us? Does it mean that things are going to be at a halt? Amen. They come and they go. But we will still stand and still continue in our God. And I know that the purpose for TDCI will be established. And you see, if TDCI is going to outlive us, and automatically we are not going to live forever, some people should do what? Take over. Amen. Amen. Some people should hold and take up the mantle. And so if you, see when Jesus came on earth, he knew he's not going to live on earth for a long time. So he selected how many people? He selected 12 people. And then he started impacting into them. He was doubling himself into them. He was moving with them, eating with them, teaching with them, going everywhere with them because he knew he wouldn't keep long. So the moment he left, they were able to take up the mantle and they continued what he came to, what he started on them. Amen. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6. Proverbs 22 verse 6. And I read the King James Version. It says what? Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not do what? Depart from it. Train up the, the young ones of TDCI. The way we want them to go. The way we want them to move about and carry themselves and, and take up the mantle. I mean, um, Melody led prison was she powerful. Alleluia. Very well. Alleluia. So when she was in, I was telling myself, oh, no program. We have King, we have Melody. Praise and worship problem is all. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So some years to come, Mama, Mama Mercy can sit down and rest. Amen. She can travel to anywhere. Amen. Praise and worship will still be powerful. Amen. And I thought it's a bad, bad place to have. Hallelujah. Amen. And so that is why we have dedicated time for them to be able to flex their muscles and stand here and hold microphone and speak to us and sing to us and perform and do things so that those of them who have pure, uh, 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 pulpit ministry, those of them who have pulpit ministry, gradually it will start coming up. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Tell your Bibles with me for the last time to the book of Isaiah 58, verse number 12. Isaiah, act and five times. Verse number 12. Are you there? Yes. It is on the screen. Can we all read together? One go. They shall build the old waste places ahead. And that is where I want us to understand. Hallelujah. They shall raise up what? The foundations of many generations. They shall raise up the foundations of many generations. And that is exactly what we are doing. We are building this foundation. And whilst we are building the foundation of this generation, and automatically, if we build the foundation very well, we are building foundations of generations after these people. Because when they take up the mantle, they will also be what? Training other people. And they will also be training other people. And the people who will come after them will be training. And they will be training. And they will be training. So indirectly, as we are teaching one person, we are teaching ten people after these ones. Oh, you didn't understand me. Why don't you clap onto the Lord? He says you shall be called the repairer of the bridge and the restorer of the parts to dwell in. I will preach. 
Say, Pastor, I don't preach. Hallelujah. I don't preach. But I just want all of us to, to, to understand this and be part of it. So that when we are doing it, won't you be happy? Won't you be happy that your child grows in the house of God? And your child, and you get up in the morning and then you, you realize that your child has taken Bible. You, 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 you don't force your child. But your child takes Bible on his or her own and is reading. And your child is preaching. And your child is praying. And your child is, is, is winning soul. Won't you be happy? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Alright. So, I move to the program. Today I'm the MC. That is why I'm wearing their color. Amen. 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 And this is Triumphant Bible Chapel International. Amen. It's a powerful church. Amen. It's a great church. It's a devil fear. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And by the grace of God, we have Reverend Jeremy as the senior pastor of this ministry. Why don't you stand with us and let us stand?